section is for defining the properties of our message and then I need to create a session for verifying the authenticated sender sender address and password so for doing this I am creating a session variable and giving my variable name session and for password authentication we need to include a package so here is our package declaration section and I am going to import java x dot mail dot pop so again go to our code and for session we need to write session dot get default instance hit enter and then add comma hit enter new java x dot mail dot authenticator and now we need to authenticate our password so we need to write protected password authentication get password authentication get password authentication get password and then we need to return new password authentication and it will take the sender address and password let's go what's wrong with this add override ok methods does not override or implement a method from a super type let's click it oh new java x dot mail dot authenticator override protected password authentication let's copy it get let's paste it get password authentication return new password authentication i am going to add another import javax dot mail dot password authentication what's wrong with this i need to remove it ok let's check the packages import com server color component graphics image toolkit event window buffer byte array byte file file input stream i exception password authentication import java dot net we do not need this because we have declared java x dot mail dot all so i will remove it and then graphics java dot util dot properties is javax dot mail dot session actually this is within this class so in properties and you see by deleting the java dot net dot uh, mail dot password authentication the error is gone you see here so 
this is our session variable <laughs> actually the error was shown for the wrong package import so it is very important that you should import the right package so this is the session for authentication valid or correct user then i need a try cache block for sending the mail at first i need to specify the message for doing this i am writing message uh, here is my message variable is equal new message and it will take the session oh. it is a written method i need not all of them so press ctrl plus z and i'm going to write session my session variable and for this i need to write my message add import and the error is gone oh, we need a cache block exception e and then we will show it like j option pan dot show message dialog root pan e so this is the section for sending message here is our message and then i need to set the sender message dot set from new new internet address and it will take the sender address again message dot set recipient for this i need to write message dot recipient type dot to and then internet address internet address dot parse to and what will be the subject message dot set subject and text subject so this is the subject of our message and what's wrong with this internet address message dot recipient type dot to comma internet address dot parse to set recipients we need s and then what's wrong with this message dot set subset actually i need to write the subject string where is our subject this is the subject only subject now i will write the code for set the text message code for set the text message and the code will be my body part i need to make it capitalize and this name also
and this is the message body part is equal new my body part and then message body part text will be text message and then i need to write multi part this is the variable multi part is equal new multi part and it will take no parameter control z for undo and then here is our multi part variable and i will initialize it multi part dot add body part and it will be our message body part what's wrong with you implements all abstract methods i need to write my multi multi part and then i need to import javax.mail.internet dot my multi part and you see the error is gone so here is our message header this section will show you the information about the sender and receiver and the subject so here is the sender receiver and the subject and then this section code for set the text message this is the body part of our message this will contain the text message and the multi part this is a very important variable actually the multi part will contain the text messages and the file that we will attach to our messages so for the first time we will include the messages body part that means the text messages the text messages of this you see the text area messages body It actually is the text message and the text message will be included to our multi part at the first time then we will include the attached file to our multi part i will show you how can we attach file to your multi part and after attaching the text message and multi and the file we will send the mail so at first we are declaring the header section then the code for the text message and then i will show you how can you attach the file to your multi part then i will show you how can you send the mail for today that's it keep watching